Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marty's Toy Box. For today's video, we're going to be checking out and reviewing the Oval WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now, this is a classic. I have not done a classic belt in a while, so that's why we're doing this one here. It's a nice title, and I love this design. I don't know if I like it more than the new one, the one that Gunther has currently, but it's such a beautiful title. Okay, let's get into this. So you have, of course, the oval shape there. Not that tall. As you see, my hand's almost bigger than it, but it's pretty, pretty wide. So you have gems going around the main plate on each side. Three there, three there. World Wrestling Entertainment. The globe with the scratch logo there. Intercontinental Champion. The interchangeable nameplate. And then you have this design going around the main plate just like that. Now let's set this down and take a look at the side plates. So this one right here, you have, it says Europe and Africa there with the globe right there. This one is Asia, Australia. And then on this side, you have North America, South America, and then the WWE logo there with Antarctica. So they put a globe there and, you know, they cut out just two um, countries, you know, on each one, which is pretty cool. In WWE, I think this is like the only time they've ever done that. So you have the uh, NWA world title, you know, the the dome globe, the 10 pounds of gold, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, that has um, countries just going all throughout it and stuff. Uh, but I think this might be the only belt that WWE has ever had, like, countries like that on the side plates for the, for the belt. Um, I mean, I know we had the European, you know, we had stuff like that, uh, but I've never, I think this is the only belt that they've ever had with side plates that shows countries like that, and they have not done it since, you know, normally now it's just like the WWE logo on the side plates, stuff like that, property of, or just people fighting and stuff like that, so this is really a one-of-a-kind belt, because they did it one time and never did it again, so this is one of the ones that doesn't have a belt tip on it. And then you have the snap box there with the detailing. This is like, I was, I call this the old shop strap. Uh, as the new ones nowadays, they have like a WWE stamp on it. They have belt tips, you know, they have a bunch of different, they have a different detailing almost on them. But all of them mainly have this detailing as you see right there. The back of it, you do see the screws for the interchangeable name plate. Replica championship title right there. The plates are four millimeters on this right there. It's not a bad title, and it's definitely a beautiful one that you could have in a collection. Um, comparing this to shop ones, I mean, I like it. I think it's worth the price point. You know, it's worth what they're offering and stuff like that. And the oval title will always, always hold a special plate in my heart. A special place in my heart. It's very, it's not very, very classic, but it's classic enough. Um, you know, if only they had the rights to the WWF logo, but of course they don't. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. And I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.